offensively. They're getting great production from the bench. And you take a look at the numbers in the last seven games. That big change, Haley Van Lith continues to be their leading scorer, but boy, putting Mikasa Robinson in as a starting point guard has made a huge difference. It really has. She's a true point guard. She understands the game, understands who to get the ball to, when, how, and exactly what Jeff Balls wants out of this offense. And that's her with the ball. Mikasa Robinson honored along with five other seniors here on senior day. There were a lot of tears in the building, including from Coach Walls, and we'll see how they respond. So much on the line in this game. Kono, the senior from Japan, whose parents made a long trip to get here. Van Lith gets fouled. And there are her parents right in the middle of the screen in the red from Sendai, Japan. And boy, what a journey it was for them to get here. It was such a journey to get here. Jeff Walls talking about the, the, her parents being able to make it, got in last night, leave already on Tuesday, but what an atmosphere. Kono with the three. Has been in a shooting slump, has never been a big scorer anyway. That, she's going to remember that forever. Well, and Jeff Walls talked to us about Narika Kono. He said she can really play. She has struggled to put the ball in the hole, but this is a kid who can play. I hope having her parents here in the crowd really helps juice her up. And you saw the emotion afterwards. Lauren Evo in the starting lineup. Remember, she missed five games with a lower body injury, and her minutes have gone up. This is her first start since the injury important component in the middle for the Irish, the Texas transfer. And this is the matchup to watch right here. Sonia Citron on Haley Van Lith, using her length, her size, her quickness, making everything difficult for Van Lith. Yeah, Citron, it's 6-1. The go-to player on this team. Nice pass inside, and the finish for Kylie Watson, who is on a nice stretch. Terrific recognition on this switch. Exploiting mismatches on those switches is going to be big for the Irish. Offensive rebound for Robinson, who is averaging seven rebounds a game since she was put back into the starting lineup. Averaging about seven and a half assists per game as well. Through contact, looking for the foul. And it's not coming. What a start for Norika Kono, knocking down a long range three. Her parents in the house, they're loving it. They traveled over 14,000 miles to get here from Sende, Japan. Rewarded with that three, Van Lith, nothing going. Ebo comes up with the rebound. Olivia Miles, another great year. Maddie Westbeld. They're letting them play so far. the freshman. What a tough move by Nyla Harris inside. Jeff Walls cannot say enough good things about Harris. He said when her offensive game catches up with everything else that she does on the defensive end of the floor, she's going to be special. 6-2 freshman out of Orlando. Watson bottled up. Cochran comes over with the double team, and it's a three-second violation. What a great move on the interior by Nyla Harris. Faces up, backs down, strong finish. And look at the emotion. Pam, we talked about how much this game means, and this is a great rivalry in the ACC as well. You're going to see a ton of emotion today. Yeah, it certainly is. Until Notre Dame won in overtime 10 days ago, Louisville had won six straight in this rivalry. Notre Dame, when they made it into the ACC, had a nice string of ACC championships. Louisville and NC State following. Cochran working on Watson, rebound by Miles. Miles fifth in the nation in assists per game, first in the conference. Nice up and under move. That's going to be there all day if Louisville's going to switch the on-ball screen. That is a mismatch. Olivia Miles can attack Olivia Cochran off of that on-ball. So the two Olivias and Miles winning that time. They leave Cochran alone out there, and she shuffled her feet. Cochran has only hit one three all season. 
Well, so far, early in this ballgame, Notre Dame doing an outstanding job of exploiting mismatches. Interior passes on switches, attacking bigs on switches in the on-ball screen. All six Notre Dame points so far have come in the paint. Miles will step back, left it short. Westbeld, who played some, was very quiet the first time these two te teams played until like the last five minutes of the fourth quarter and helped that comeback. Yeah, she had the end one that was key moment in the fourth quarter. Now all eight Notre Dame points in the paint after Bransford got the basket. Oh, and you're going to see this full face denial on Haley Van Lith all night long. Nice dish as she was double teamed to get it into Harris. And I think that's going to be the key for Van Lith. When you're facing multiple double teams, can you make the right play, find the open man? Great execution. This is the game plan. Get the ball out of Haley Van Litt's hands. The switch is there. She gets by one defender. The first rotation, second rotation is late. Perfect delivery, really good execution. And Nyla Harris with the finish. And Van Litt, along with Mikasa Robinson, played all 45 minutes of that game in South Bend. Just 10 days later, the rematch. Trying to get it inside. Robinson knocked it away. And Lith on the move with the little Euro step and drew the foul. Well, Haley Van Lith, when she starts going downhill like that, that's a scary sight. It really is. You got to find a way to get two feet, two shoulders right in front of her, but that was a heck of a move. Coming off a great game against Miami on Thursday in which she hit 25 points. Haley leading the team in scoring third in the league this year. And you see, she doesn't come off the floor very often. She certainly doesn't. And early in this season, Haley Van Lith was really shouldering a heavy load offensively while Louisville was trying to figure it out with all of their new pieces. And when the lineup changed, they finally started getting into a rhythm, multiple players contributing on the floor. Yeah, they lost players. They lost Emily Engsler, Chelsea Hall, such a great leader, Kiana and Alana Smith. And it's taken them a while. Mikasa Robinson able to regather, but couldn't get the shot off. Now a two-on-one for Notre Dame. Robinson on the trail. Never gives up on a play. No, she doesn't. That's why she's a fan favorite. Multiple levels of effort, ultimate teammate. And give her the assist on that Van Lith bucket. Yeah, Jeff Wall says he's never coached anyone like Robinson. Citron, so good. So smooth. Always the same facial expression. The same pace, no matter what the moment in a ball game. Freshman of the year last year in the ACC. Her first points, Morgan Jones. In the game, just gave it over to Harris. Jones, a transfer from Florida State and miscommunication. Well, what do you do on an overplay? You find a way to get back. Just won the last few and the L. Ivy, who was such a brilliant point guard there. They can clinch the outright title if they win and Duke loses to North Carolina. Louisville to clinch the four seed would need to win this game and have Clemson upset Florida State. Florida State with one less loss in the league than Louisville, but Louisville does ha ha have the tiebreaker if they finish with the same number of losses. So much going on. Good recovery by Ebo, but she couldn't get it to go. Jeff Walls now in his 16th year at Louisville says he's never had a season like this where so much uncertainty on the last day. The depth of this league, the competitiveness night in and night out. Great look inside by Morgan Jones. Liz Dixon with the finish. Liz Dixon has been terrific the last two games, averaging 13 points and 11 rebounds. I mean, this is a huge lineup on the floor for Notre Dame, looking to take advantage inside. And Prosper has checked in, number four. Freshman from Montreal. 
Miles leads this team in scoring, rebounding, and assists. That's it? That's it. <laughs> well, I'll tell you, they're letting them play. Joe Vasily, Jeffrey Smith, Patu Sissoko Stevens, our officials this afternoon. Miles also leaves them in steals. Yeah. <laughs> what a season she has had. Got a triple-double, her record third for Notre Dame. Third in her, her career. There's Prosper, a player that Neil Ivey's really excited about. Just 17 years of age. Early enrollee, only the second in Notre Dame program history to Olivia Miles. A nice cut for Van Leer. She and Robinson right on, right on cue. Uh, they are, and, and Jeff Walls is terrific X's and O's, and he knows when Louisville and Haley Van Lith are being overplayed, he just brings everybody up, free throw line extended, and looks for that back door. Notre Dame's gonna have to be aware of that on the back side and give a little bit more help. Citron left open, makes them pay. Notre Dame had missed four straight shots until that. And you cannot give her yeah. that much time or space. She can't have that good of a look. She shoots at 45% from three. She hit three threes in the game against them 10 days ago. Liz Dixon short. Notre Dame looking to push, but Robinson such a pest. Miles somehow got it to Prosper, who couldn't get it. Watson tied up by Dixon. Notre Dame continues in their man-to-man -man to face guard Haley Van Lith. So they just set her up to go back door. But the answer on the back side, Sonia Citron, have to know where she is. She makes them pay. And Neil Ivey talking about how Sonia's role has changed with Dara Mabry out and has had to be more assertive, certainly more vocal. A player who can really fill it up. And Neil Ivey says she's just such an unselfish player. We need her to be more aggressive offensively. And she stepped up to that challenge. Yeah, don't be so submissive. And now with Mabry out, unfortunately, with that career-ending ACL, she's had to do that. Robinson working on Miles, tried to get it inside. That's the rotation defensively. Maddie Westbelt was there. Miles somehow able to get the shot off. Yeah, this is almost looking more like a rugby match. <laughs> I love this. The energy, the intensity. You can tell how much this game means. Everybody playing for something. Jeff Wall, since coming over from Maryland, has done terrific things with this program. Four Final Fours, most wins in school history. And we are under a minute to go in a very good first quarter. CC Carr, number three, their three-point threat. Westbelt has about a foot on her, it looks like. Van Lith bodied up. Carr. Now Miles settles things down. Notre Dame has missed seven of its last shot, eight shots after a quick start. Got a mismatch right there with Maddie Westbelt and Mikasa Robinson. It's not on the perimeter, though. Citron, mm. difficult. Terrific work on the offensive class by Bransford. What a rebound by K.K. Bransford. And to be able to stay on balance, shot goes up. She's there on the backside. She stays on balance, gathers herself strong through the finish. The LIB compares K.K. Bransford to Jackie Young, just how strong she is, her ability to finish through contact. And that was a prime example. Time now for Louisville. Carr gets it over to Russell. She drives into the paint, and that ends the first quarter. Notre Dame up by one on senior day. Casa Robinson, very special. We're bringing big back. For your coaching staff and the Louisville FCA staff, 
Congratulations on all your accomplishments and ails up. I say, I don't think there was a dry eye in the house. Oh, with that. that was an amazing pregame ceremony they had. It really was. Those pregame videos, I mean, it, it was an emotional time. Pam Ward along with Stephanie White, last game here. And likely the last game on this court, Louisville unlikely to get a top four seed in the NCAA. Russell with the finish. A lot of times on senior days, you know you're going to come back for an NCAA tournament home game. That's not the case here. And Unless they make a deep run. Right, and typically that is the case for Louisville. So not used to being in this situation. And Marissa Russell giving him a lift off the bench. Couple of buckets for the kid from Ottawa. Russell on the floor, and finally a foul is called. Well, Louisville's picking up their defensive intensity. Marissa Russell, great job of being in the passing lane, using that outside hand and getting an easy two in transition. And you know, that's one of the things, Louisville as a program has always been a really good defensive team. Struggled again early in this season. The lineup change has been good for them on both ends of the floor. Giving them some scoring punch off the bench with people like Carr that they weren't getting with the other lineup. Gosh, Van Lick soared in to keep it alive, but then Ebo took it away. Miles, Citron. Rebound, and the putback rolls off the rim for Watson. That's a travel. Ooh, everybody needs to take a breath. We'll take a timeout and be right back to Louisville. We are back in Louisville where the Cardinals have a three game or three point lead over Notre Dame. Notre Dame in the hunt to be the top seed in the ACC tournament. But if the season ended today, and it will later today, this is the way it would look. On the first day, Louisville would be the five seed behind Florida State. So they would only get the single bye and play the winner of Virginia and Boston College. And you see the top four seeds right now, Duke is playing North Carolina. If they win, they will be the number one seed. Notre Dame, Virginia Tech, Florida State in the top four. Nielle Ivy, boy, what a job she's done. Remember just a couple years ago, this team didn't even make the NCAA tournament. Broke a string of 24 straight. She's very proud of the progression they've made. Yeah, no question about it. I mean, that two years ago, a very young team as Nielle Ivy was taking over this program. They've grown, they've been battle tested. Everyone with more experience and to be competing for an ACC championship just two years later. What a job she's done. Van Lith. She's got seven. And now action away from the ball. And they get Haley Van Lith for her first personal. Van Lith, intense competitor, high motor. She's out there on West Bell. Shoots over Robinson well short. Mikasa gets another rebound. Van Litt. Miles back to West Bell. Good close by Van Litt. And now inside, Watson doubled. Van Litt sold it and got it. Spacing wasn't great that time down the floor for Notre Dame. They had the mismatch inside, but not able to take advantage of it because of poor spacing. And Van Litt does a great job of establishing her position, taking the contact as Bransford's trying to get to the rim. First on KK. And left, good screen from Dixon, but then she lost the ball. Westbell, but Mikasa Robinson almost got to it. Westbell able to hang on.
inside. Dixon tied up by Watson. Possession arrow keeps it with the cards. Van Lith with the fadeaway, drawing contact, wanting the foul. Miles does it herself, short. Russell to Carr, two on one. Carr, Dixon, rolled off, and then Dixon was on the baseline. Liz Dixon with a little bit of frustration, and Jeff Wallace talked about how stoic Liz Dixon is. She wasn't very stoic during the pregame ceremony and was upset with herself there for not getting a layup. Well, Liz Dixon's journey has been terrific. I mean, coming into Louisville after getting a lot of minutes as a young player at Georgia Tech and really learning how to play the game here and emerging as a go-to down the stretch. Yeah, really game developing after a freshman year at Georgia Tech. Tonya Citron, talk about stoic. It's her second three of the afternoon, and it ties the game. So steady, so consistent. You always know what you're going to get on both ends of the floor from Sonia Citron. CC Carr, Louisville, her third school. Russell got Westbelled up in the air and then barged into the uh, lane. Ball stays with Louisville. Well, Sonia Citron's one of the best three-point shooters in the ACC. You got to know where she is. Great find, pass on time, and Citron's going to make it, make you pay, knock it down. Now, the thing about Sonia Citron is that she's often overlooked because Olivia Miles is so flashy and so good, but she really is the go-to and the heart and soul of this team. Mikasa Robinson, her first three of the season. With the shot clock dying. Citron drew another foul. Out of bounds execution. Shot clock is winding down. We saw them working on this play in practice yesterday. Robinson knocks it down. Pardon me, that was a long two, not called a three, but right at the buzzer. Coming up tomorrow night, big Monday women's basketball matchup in the Big 12. It's Baylor and Texas. Coverage starts at 7 Eastern on ESPN2 and the app. Texas with another big win against Oklahoma, beat them handily twice. So they're in the driver's seat to get the regular season championship, at least for now. Cochran, a bounced off Ebo and scored. What an individual effort by Olivia Cochran. That was terrific defense by Ebo. And Jeff Walls talked about Cochran. He said, we really need her to step up. Offensively, she has to produce for us. Yeah, did not have a field goal in the win over Miami on Thursday. Citron, it's money. Is so cool in those moments. Makes herself available, steps up, quiets the crowd. Just a sophomore, she and Miles were friends before they came to Notre Dame, knew they would want to go to the same school together, and it's worked out a little bit. Great backcourt. Good ball movement. Watson coming up with the rebound. Kylie, an Oregon transfer. First year in South Bend. Citron again. Van Lith with Prosper over her back. That is the first on Cassandra Prosper. And you see Jeff Walls with the deeper bench. 
Kono back into the ball game. Carr tried to get it inside. Too many blue shirts. And another terrific rotation by Maddie Westbelt. Got the mismatch inside. Got to yep. find a way to give it a ball. With Kono, she's got to get that. And a three-second violation for Westbell trying to get, say, somebody please throw me the ball. Yeah, I mean, you don't have that much time to recognize the mismatches, and there were a couple of passing opportunities to get her the ball, and Notre Dame just couldn't get it in there. Six turnovers for Notre Dame, five for Louisville. When you see those paint points, at one point, Notre Dame led that battle eight to four. Louisville doing a much better job of finding interior passes, getting out in transition and getting some easy buckets. Cochran working on Ebo. Goes the other way. I think Olivia Cochran took Jeff Wall's challenge personal because she is going to work. The physicality inside, Cochran gives it up, does exactly what she's supposed to do in the repost, gets it back, finishes on the other side. I mean, just a terrific individual effort by Olivia Cochran. Robinson guarded by Miles, lost it. And Westfeld able to get it away from Robinson who was trying for the tie-up. Notre Dame basketball. And Miles is shaken up. Looks like she fell on that right knee. And Marquez, the trainer, Coming out to take a look. What has been a really physical basketball game. We've seen countless players on the floor. Miles as Miel Ivy leans in. Well, you, you mentioned the, the physicality, but no contact right there. Olivia Miles just lands awkwardly. And she was in pain right away. You could see the knee bending, let's say, in an unnatural position. Such a valuable player, certainly in the mix for ACC Player of the Year. All-American season for her. She's going to try to get up and walk off the court. If you could read her lips there, she said, I can't walk. So. They are going to take her back into the locker room. One of the most dynamic and easy to say, one of the most dynamic and best players in the country and so important to this Notre Dame team. Yeah, she really is. And 
the way Olivia Miles has stepped up, not just on the court, but from a leadership standpoint, in the absence of Dara Mabry, has been huge for this team. Primary playmaker. And Neil Ivey talked to us yesterday. This is a team who's been through adversity. They've grown through adversity. They've stayed positive. They've stayed strong together. And now Jenna Brown, the graduate transfer, going to come in and need to log some minutes. Yeah, thrown right into the fire. There is Jenna. Played a couple of years at Stanford, took a medical red shirt. And now at Notre Dame, and having to come in in a crucial basketball game and sub in for one of the best players in the country. Only averaging a couple of points a game. Gets it out to West Bell, but Mikasa Robinson drew the charge. Does the Mikasa Robinson things, right? Finds her way in the right place, right time. Sees the drive happening. She is there, takes the contact, and delivers for the Cardinals. Van Lith working on Citron, gets it out to Cochran. Second chance, nothing doing. Third chance, fouled. Well, you're right, Cochran is showing a lot today. She didn't make that first shot, but that physicality took Kylie Watson right out of the play and gave her an offensive rebound. Second foul on Watson. possession going. A little quick move, floater, wide left. Kono says I didn't touch it, and she did. Coming up, in the Chief Halftime Report with L. Duncan, Carolyn Peck, and Andrea Carter. We're going to take a look at South Carolina in another close game in Indiana, Iowa preview, which follows us. Duke leading North Carolina by four at the half in a very low scoring game in Durham that has huge implications for the regular season championship in the ACC and the top seed in the tournament, which starts on Wednesday. That's going to be fun. It's going to be so much fun. Maddie Westbelt has picked up her second foul for Notre Dame. Sends Cochran right back to the free throw line. Biggest lead of the game for Louisville now at half a dozen. Notre Dame hasn't scored in almost three minutes. And remember, they're missing their engine. They're missing Olivia Miles. And weathering the storm to get to halftime right now is really important if you're Notre Dame. Find way away to get a bucket, to get a shot, opportunity. And you see CC Carr just hounding to the ground. Westbell, tough one. And Lip, terrific rebounding guard. Robinson trying to go to the hot hand to Cochran is kicked by Citron. Ebo coming in, they're gonna get Westbell out because she's got two fouls. The thing that Olivia Miles does offensively outside of pushing in transition is she keeps the ball moving, right? Keeps the ball moving. So the danger for Notre Dame is that it gets stagnant, everybody going one-on-one. -on -one. Minute to go in the first half. Robinson again.
Well, she's one of the most popular players in the history of this program. Even without eye-popping offensive numbers, it's because of stuff like that. All those things you can't teach. Great instincts, hustle plays. Terrific teammate. And Lith got hand-checked by Citron. First on her. Notre Dame has not scored since Olivia Miles left after turning her knee. Haley <laughs> Van Lith, one of the best free throw shooters in the league, to 7 0. Louisville run. Finally a bucket. I like that ISO. Bransford going at Narika Kono on the elbow. Shot clock off. Robinson lost it momentarily. Driving on Prosper. Foul. Second foul on Prosper. Neil Ivy talked to us about the first matchup, and she said we had a lot of, of breakdowns and defensive lapses. That's one of those at the end of the clock. Force Mikasa Robinson to make a tough shot. There's no need to foul. Be disciplined defensively. Out of both. and Russell come in to give some more length on the defensive side. Citron launch. And fighting Irish could just come up with two points after losing Olivia Miles. See if she can come back in the second half. But Louisville up by nine. Time to go to Iowa City. Quarter. But the big question is, how do you overcome losing someone like Miles? I think if you're Neil Ivey, you're talking to this team about how much adversity they've already been over to come. Dara Mabry out for the season with an ACL injury, multiple players that are capable on the floor, and just challenge this team to continue to step up. She said, I asked them to give me 10% more. When Mabry went down, I would anticipate her asking that again. Citron had a terrific first half with 10 points gets things going. And that's the challenge. Sonia Citron's going to have to step up again offensively. Give them more. Be a ball handler. Tipped it away momentarily. Kono, who hit a three to start things off in this game on senior day. She's one of six seniors honored. Ball got away from Cochran. Notre Dame took it away Kylie Watson. Transfer from Oregon. And Kylie Watson's another one. She had a big game the last time these two teams met, had 20. She's got two here today as Maddie Westbelt goes to work. But Notre Dame has an advantage on the interior. They've got to find a way to pound it inside and get some buckets. Liz Dixon is going to come in at the next whistle for Louisville. These two teams played 10 days ago. An overtime winner by Olivia Miles was the difference. Robinson with yet another rebound. He's heard Jeff Walls yell, get it to Koss. He didn't get the ball back to Robinson. Van Lith thought about it. Drew the foul. And if that's Watson, that's her third. And again, this is one of those positions where if you have length on Haley Van Lith, you have to just make it tough for her to make a shot. If she makes a great shot over an outstretched hand, you can live with that. But there's no need to foul a jump shooter, put her at the line, and put yourself under duress. Notre Dame doesn't have a lot of depth, so being disciplined defensively is going to be key. Yeah, especially Watson 
already had two personals, now with three, and Niel Ivey with the short bench that you mentioned, she's leave, gonna leave her in the game. called for the foul. <laughs> Didn't look like a whole lot of contact no. there. Her first. Russell, good look. Great result. Marissa Russell has been big off the bench for the Cardinals. Seven points. Only averages four a game. Was shut out in their last game against Miami. I mean, great extra pass. And again, that's that intangible that Mikasa Robinson brings. Marissa Russell knocks down the three. Now, we've alluded to the change in the starting lineup for Jeff Walls, and since then, they've assisted on 68% of their made field goals as Olivia Miles returns to the bench. Not a good sign, has that right knee wrapped up in ice. Bransford looked around and saw she was open. Freshman out of Cincinnati. There is Olivia Miles. Notre Dame changing up their defense, going to the 2-3 zone. Knowing where Haley Van Lith is is going to be key. Yeah, Westbelt help from Ebo. And that's a walk. You called it Steph, and they agree. So Olivia Miles' parents in the house right behind their very talented daughter, kid from New Jersey. That's just got to be gut-wrenching for everyone. Sonia Citron, a good friend of Miles, a lot more on her shoulders now. Citron, short, rebound Van Lith, one on one. Now a two on one. It's an awkward finish, and Van Lith comes up with the perplexed look on her face. And the foul on Robinson. Her second. Van Lith a little limpy as she gets back on defense. Westbelt left open. And shot buried. A quick five for Maddie Westbelt. Now she's a player who at the end of the ball game in this first matchup stepped up in the fourth quarter and overtime. She can be an offensive go-to. Van Lith just needs that much time. And looks over at Robinson thanking her for the assist. You can't overshift in the zone away from Haley Van Lith. You've got to know where she is. Prosper came in a couple of feet to get the shot off. That is her first points. Neil Ivey talking about Kassan Prosper said she was just a gift. She came mid-year enrollee. Dara Mabry goes down. It adds another lengthy perimeter player. And now in this moment with Olivia Miles not able to be on the floor, Prosper's going to have an opportunity to rise again. Number four for Notre Dame, 6'2 kid. Both of her parents played collegiate basketball. Robinson, no foul call and a tie-up. Nobody comes out to guard Maddie Westbelt. She recognizes it, use her little rhythm dribble, and knocks it down. And Haley Van Lith, she can't have that much space. Now, she struggled early in the season from the three-point line, but in the last seven has been terrific. Shot clock violation as Russell missed everything. And Lip and Citron leading their respective teams in scoring so far. Some pressure 
You would expect this from Louisville. No Olivia Miles on the floor. Sonia Citron happened to be a primary ball handler. I would expect them to come with a lot of pressure the rest of the ball game. Citron ran into a double team. And you notice that Miel Ivey did not start Jenna Brown, who finished up the second quarter in place of Miles, and putting Citron on the ball. There's Jenna. CC Carr, one of the best three-point shooters in the league. Coming off the bench now for Louisville, and that's an offensive foul on Dixon. Second personal. It's been a physical game. Maybe calling it a little closer now in the third quarter than we saw in the first half. I like the physicality. I mean, this is an important ball game, a lot of emotion. Notre Dame still in the hunt for a regular season championship. And there's another touch foul. This time on Carr. the first on Chrislin, one of the seniors honored before the game. She goes out, they get a lot bigger as Cochran comes in. winding down Bransford that's a chance he pass across the lane but Prosper was there I love the, the the cut by Prosper to make herself available on that drive well, Notre Dame down four the closest they've been since Miles went out late in the second quarter Russell what a game Another great crowd, making a lot of noise, tough move, rebound Cochran. So it is indeed senior day in Louisville. When we come back, we'll have more on Eureka Kono, whose parents came a very long way. Welcome back to Louisville. It is senior day for the Cardinals. You see number 11, that is Narika Kono. And before the game, she was among the seniors celebrated. Her parents came all the way. Look at Jeff, he's a mess. And uh, Narika's dad taped a message for his daughter. My lovely daughter Narika, you've worked hard for four years. We can only watch over you from Japan, and we couldn't help you. But you are the pride of our family. Now there are her very proud parents who traveled over, it's going to be, a, what, 14,000 miles to get here for Narika. Remember, she came here, COVID hit. Mm -hmm. She had some things where she had to step away from the game for a little while, but that's, I mean, you're thousands and thousands of miles away from your support. And her parents getting in last night at 8 p.m. They leave at 10 a.m. on Tuesday. You mentioned over 14,000 mile journey to be here for her senior day. What a special moment. So Narika is senior from Sendai, Japan, which is about an hour and a half on the bullet train northeast of Tokyo and came here, uh, was on the uh, Japanese national team, came here, told Jeff Wall she wanted to play against Americans to get better. And her four-year career is gonna come to a close and very emotional ceremony. We've seen a lot of senior ceremonies. Yes. That was that was right up there for it, the it, it tears. It really was. We were over here in tears. <laughs> and Jeff Wall says he's not that emotional, and you saw he got emotional. Liz Dixon, short. Citron. Again, if you're just joining us, Notre Dame playing without Olivia Miles, who sustained what appears to be a knee injury with about two and a half to go in the second quarter. Let it go out. Okay. 
Shot selection is going to be key for Notre Dame. Without Olivia Miles on the floor to facilitate and dictate where the ball goes offensively, you know, finding ways to get high percentage shots is going to be important. There are mismatches available. There are switches that Notre Dame can take advantage of. It's finding where are those and being able to deliver those in a timely manner. Matt Marshall, number 15, getting some playing time for Notre Dame here in the second half. And this was just a few moments ago during the last timeout. That's Olivia's dad, Koji, coming down, sitting behind her in the stands. And you can say, obviously, how tough this is. Yeah, it certainly is. I mean, she's a huge part of, of what the Irish do, a player who just loves to be out there. You know, not to mention a player that's averaging almost 15 points, seven and a half rebounds, and seven assists a ball game. You know, how can she still lead from the bench and be there for her team? And trying to do that. That's a live shot now. Koji's still talking to Olivia, who's got a towel draped over her legs and an ice pack on her right knee. Pardon me, Koji Zurika's dad's name. Got my dad's names mixed up. Apologies. Van Lith. Transferred over Williams. Josie Williams, a senior, has come into the game. Transfer from Utah Valley. Using up her final year of eligibility here at Louisville. Lauren Ebo just committed her second personal foul for the Irish. There's Josie, two-time all-whack performer when she played at Utah Valley. You need to get a stop here if you're the Irish. Just continuing to change defenses, stay in this zone. Brought a little three-quarter court pressure. Cochran bottled up. And a timeout taken by Jeff Walls. Louisville, up six. Dame today is that Olivia Miles, such a dynamic player, leading them on the court in so many categories, scoring, rebounding, assists, steals, off to a good start for Notre Dame, but with about two and a half minutes to go in the second quarter, you see her grab her right knee, went into the locker room, and there is her dad, Yakubu, who came down from the stands to uh, comfort her. We were told her return is tentative. I would say that is very optimistic. But Notre Dame trying to come back. Sonia Citron certainly has exerted herself here with, with Miles' absence. And she's going to have to, as is everyone else. Everyone's going to have to continue to step up. The LIV talked about challenging her team when Dara Mabry went down to give her 10% more. They're going to need another 10% right now. Duke in a close game with North Carolina to try to tie up and win the regular season and the number one seed. And Liz shot blocked by Prosper. Citron, two on one. Ran into Van Lith. Citron called for the charge, her second personal foul. You see Duke up five in the, a very low scoring game in the fourth quarter. And Notre Dame lost to Duke in their only regular season matchup. So the Irish and uh, Van Leth, a little blood over there after the elbow. Citron looking to try to avoid the contact underneath, but got her up top. Haley Van Lith is 
tough as they come. She's gonna stay in the game. But first they gotta stem the bleeding. to Stephanie Norman, the associate head coach who's been with Coach Walls all 16 years. Had the scout for Notre Dame. Very thorough practice yesterday. And these two teams played 10 days ago, and Van Lins coming back in at the next whistle. Yeah, you're not surprised, right? Zero percent surprised. <laughs> Bounce pass. Robinson to Cochran, who got fouled. Second on Bransford for the Irish. Yeah, and they have to send Van Lith back to the bench because she's still bleeding. So she can't come in yet. Tomorrow night, a men's Big Monday doubleheader. It's North Carolina taking on Florida State. Right now, North Carolina on the wrong side of the bubble if you're a Carolina fan. And then Baylor, Oklahoma State, both games here on ESPN, as well as the app. Last time the North Carolina men didn't make the tournament, 2010. It's 13 years ago. Last 30 seconds of the quarter. Ebo, boy, Robinson crashed into Citron and right away put her hand down to try to help her up. It's three on Robinson. Notre Dame looking to get Sonia Citron off the move and Robinson attempting to keep her from getting the ball. It's been a physical ball game. Now Van Lip, visibly, uh, visibly, pardon me, shaken up. I'd guess that Haley Van Lip's more shaken up the fact that she hadn't been able to get on the yeah, floor. Yeah, she wants to be on the floor. It's like, come on, she's going right back to the scorer's table. Again, played all 45 minutes when these two teams went to overtime 10 days ago. A game won by Olivia Miles with her buzzer beating shot at the end of overtime. Time winding down for Robinson. Kono. And that's the end of the third quarter. Notre Dame outscored Louisville by six. They trail by three as we head to the fourth. are really good. They are so good. You yeah. know, they are a team that doesn't make a lot of mistakes, that they play so well together, solid on both ends of the floor. Our game day crew is in Iowa City. We'll get you there as soon as our game is over here. Pam Ward and Stephanie White. Notre Dame trailing Louisville with Olivia Miles on the bench with an apparent knee injury, but the Irish are clawing back into it. Well, if you're in the L.I., you have to be really happy with the effort in the third quarter by the Irish. Continue to challenge them to step up. Got to get more production offensively from their bigs, but Marissa Russell has continued to have an answer for the Cardinals. She has been terrific off the bench for Jeff Walls. A couple of threes, 12 points for her, one off her career high. I like the way K.K. Bransford's going to the rim. They run this play where they get her the ball in the elbow and let her go to work. I think they need to give her some touches there. Neil Ivey called the timeout with Sonia Citron in a bunch of trouble. So we'll take a timeout. The Irish down four. This exclusive presentation of college basketball is brought to you by Wendy's. Two for six dollars, the best 
steal in fast food. And Muffet McGraw, now our colleague. And yeah, boy, when they joined the league, it was as a lot in a row. I couldn't count that high. But right now, Duke is beating North Carolina. If they win, they will be the number one seed in the upcoming ACC tournament. If Notre Dame comes back, they will share the regular season title. But Notre Dame would be the two seed. Neil Ivey won a national championship as a player and as an assistant coach. Now the head coach at her alma mater. And out of the timeout, a turnover. And what a job she's done I mean, navigating this team through adversity, putting them in a position to compete for an ACC title. Carol Owens, Michaela Mabry, Sherelle Allen, her, her staff. Dixon rebounds her own miss. Van Lith back in after her nose was cut. Van Lith just like talking to herself the whole way up the court. They want her to walk. Bransford, good answer. KK Bransford has been solid for Notre Dame, knocking out big bucket after big bucket. Freshman now with a dozen, six of nine from the floor. One possession game. Van Lith, short. Cochran, strong. Fouled by Ebo. The Irish have done a really good job of getting Louisville to take tough shots, but they haven't been able to secure the defensive board. Five offensive rebounds they've given up in the second half. And in a game of this magnitude, when you're down another player on the bench, no Olivia Miles, every possession matters. ESPN's NBA Sunday doubleheader starts with the Warriors hosting Anthony Edwards and the Timberwolves at 7.30 Eastern. Then Kawhi and the Clippers take on the Nuggets. Coverage tips at 7 Eastern with NBA countdown. Uh, Cochran delivers at the line. It's getting louder. Westfeld, Prosper, able to slice her way through a couple of players, and finally, the Irish draw a foul. Marissa Russell just picked up her first foul, and it sends Watson to the line. Watson just two points today. Does have six rebounds. Last couple of games, the Oregon transfer, last four games actually, averaging over 13 points per game. Had 20 the last time these two teams met was really instrumental, particularly in that second half, being a presence inside. Prosper got in the passing lane, trying to get it to Van Lith. All the way to the bucket, count it. That's Kassan Prosper using that link defensively to be able to get the steal. Louisville had been running that backdoor action and then getting out in transition. Russell in the restricted area. Prosper using the glass for the finish. Well, Notre Dame has left some points on the free throw line, just five of 10 as a team. Cochran, back rim, Dixon, beat Watson to it. Jeff Walls told us yesterday, the 50-50 balls we've got to get. We didn't do that at Notre Dame. We've got to do it today. And they've been able to get them. Van Lith finishes.
Bransford, nice spin move and finish. What a game she's having. I like that action with Bransford on the elbow. I think you can give a little bit more space if you're Notre Dame. She made a heck of a play in a small space right there. She's really good at that elbow action. Let her attack a couple times, then try to get Citron a touch as well. Shot clock dwindling. Robinson pass to Russell. Another O board. Boy, Olivia Dixon on the offensive glass. Andrew a foul. You can't get hit by screens when you're guarding Haley Van Lift. She doesn't need a lot of time or space, and she had too much there. And KK Bransford continues to go to work for the Irish. But second chance opportunities for the Cardinals. 15 offensive rebounds. And they've been able to take advantage of everyone they've gotten. So Ebo comes back in after Watson picked up her fourth foul. Van Lith guarded by Prosper. Now the switch to Westbelt. And no Olivia Miles. Hurt her right leg. Late in the second quarter. Citron aggressive goes to the line. There's Olivia now with her entire right leg wrapped up. Last foul on Carr, her second for Louisville. Citron has 20 points. Six 20-point game of the season, and Notre Dame leads for the first time since the end of the first quarter. Citron just dogging Carr. CC. Best three-point shooter for Louisville has not gotten it going today. Scoreless. Nice cut by Prosper, but Robinson was right there in the restricted area. And another foul call. Robinson's fourth. And, and you mentioned Tassan Prosper, 17-year-old, mid-year enrollee. You don't teach that cut right there. That's good instincts, that's understanding the ball game, putting yourself in a position for success. Kid from Montreal, both her parents played at Concordia College. In the West End. Big Monday women's basketball tomorrow. It's a big one. How about Texas hosting Baylor? Coverage begins at 7 Eastern on ESPN2. Texas with a one-game lead over the Sooners now in the Big 12 Conference. Prosper goes one out of two, but lane violation? Lane violation on Haley Van Lid. The, yeah, she can't believe it. See the blood on it's dried on the left side of her nose after she took an elbow tonight. It's a gift point for Prosper. And now it's a three-point advantage. And Prosper's gonna be checking Van Lith. Really good advantage with that length. Gotta make sure to stay disciplined. Cochran. Lost it. Three on one. Bransford. Prosper fouled again. Boy, Notre Dame really with a big charge here without Miles. Well, Olivia Cochran has been so good today, getting to the rim, and that time just lost the ball. And what a textbook break by the Irish. Prosper running the floor. Good foul by Cochran, not allowing an and one. Make Prosper earn him. 
It won't turn 18 until later this year. It's got to be killing Olivia Miles over there. One out of two on that trip. Only a 63% free throw shooter coming in. It's a 7 nothing Irish run. Van Lith up and under. She was fouled. And this game taking on even more intrigue as North Carolina now leads Duke late in the fourth quarter. Just a two-point advantage. And again, if Duke loses and Notre Dame wins, Notre Dame gets the, the top seed in the ACC tournament. mentioned too, Niel Ivy's about to become a grandmother. Yes, congratulations to her, her son Jaden, who's tearing it up in the NBA right now. I can't believe it. It is hard to believe. <laughs> son just turned 21. Two-point lead, pressure, and they get it over. Citron guarded by Morgan Jones now. Got to get the shot off. Oh, my! Sonia Citron! The only option was to put it up, and she put it in. That was a heck of a defensive effort by Louisville, and what a shot by Citron. Citron with 23. The lead is ballooned to five. Tough shot for Harris. Ebo got to watch out. Yet yeah, Morgan Jones took it from her. Van Lith, so good at drawing fouls. But how about Sonia Citron? My goodness, Pam. Sonia Citron went from sideline to sideline and had to back up with an outstretched hand knocks down a huge shot. Three fouls now on Prosper. Look, we said when Olivia Miles was com didn't come back out in the second half, Sonia Citron's gonna have to step up. She's gonna have to continue to be more aggressive offensively. She's done it with the ball in her hands. She's done it off the ball. KK Bransford has been terrific in the second half as well. But let's not forget, this game in South Bend went back and forth as well. So we're in for a treat here to finish. How about you? What a finish coming up. Let's take a timeout in Louisville. Only Daisy Welcome back. Notre Dame up four as we take a look at today's Wendy's Wooden Watch for National Player of the Year. Oh, it's not over yet, young man. Louisville still has a chance, and we are about to see who I think should be National Player of the Year, and Caitlin Clark as Iowa takes on Indiana at the top of the hour. But Olivia Miles, one of the, you know, talk about people who can get some stats in there. I mean, you look at it over 14, 7, 7. I mean, these are two players who can just do everything for their teams, for their programs, and two of the most exciting players in the country. And Olivia Miles again leaving here in the third quarter with a right leg injury and in Notre Dame right now up four with three minutes and 15 seconds left and this just in, Duke has lost to North Carolina. So if Notre Dame can hang on and win this game, they will be ACC champs and the top seed in the ACC tournament. Come from behind win for the heels, Duke's first home loss of the season. Well, the ACC has been fun all year long. The tournament's going to be incredible. Can't wait for it. And for the first time, ESPN and the ACC Network will have every game for you. Uh, Bransford, great. what a pass to find Westbelt. I'm telling you, I love it when KK Bransford is out in that elbow. And Westbelt, Maddie Westbelt, a terrific cut. She had the mismatch. All you had to do was deliver it high enough for her to go get it. It's a perfect pass. 
West Bell now one point away from 1,000 for her career. And some action away from the ball. Fourth one on Prosper. So Duke has lost to North Carolina. And if Notre Dame wins, they will clinch the outright season title and be the number one seed. Louisville needs a little help. First, they have to come back and win, and they would need Florida State to get up by Clemson. That game is starting later today. Harris at the line. The way Louisville plays defense, this is far from over. Well, handling the pressure is key for Notre Dame, and then being able to find ways to continue to get high percentage looks in the half court. Again, this game up in South Bend went back and forth throughout the last two, three minutes of the ball game. Prosper calling for it on the wing. Somehow got it into Citron, who got her shot blocked. And then Ebo with a hard foul on Robinson. Now both teams will retreat to their benches. The officials will take a look at that last. going to the review monitors to look and see if there's a possible upgrade. I felt like that was a basketball play, going for the ball. There was contact, no question about it. Yeah, I agree. I mean, I know Hurt, but that was uh, Ebo going after the basketball. That is her fourth personal foul. I mean, that's a post player and a point guard colliding. It's a basketball play. I didn't think there was anything excessive. Joe Basile over there at the monitor with Jeffrey Smith. In real speed, it still looked like a basketball <laughs> it play. Did. You might have just heard the, the crowd cheer. They showed a fan with a sign that said, Mikasa Robinson is my ACC Defensive Player of the Year. She, I already voted. She's fine. She's your player of the year. She, Mikasa Robinson has just been a defensive nightmare for every opponent since the day she stepped foot on campus. Had an opportunity, thought about transferring after her sophomore year. Her, did not get a lot of playing time. She said staying was the best decision of her life. Wow, I'm shocked that they upgraded that to an intentional foul. Me too. So the intentional foul, Van Lith goes to the line, and Louisville will have the ball. That's a huge call. And Lith with 23, 10 of 12 from the line. So an opportunity for what could be a four-point play, right? After yeah. the two free throws from Van Lith. Yep. 
and they deemed it excessive contact. And Liv now being guarded by Citron. Russell, that rimmed out, big board for Westbell. Oh, that was everything but all the way in. Yeah, right. right. Rolled out, and now another great crowd wants to stop. Citron, nope. Board, Bransford, second offensive board by Citron, who was fouled on the floor. So it was Louisville getting the big offensive rebounds early, but that was two huge ones for the Irish. Second on Cochran. And Sonia Citron. At the free throw line. Seven of nine now. Boy, what a second half. Season high, 25 points now for Citron when they needed her to fill the void of Miles. And you would anticipate Haley Van Lith getting an opportunity to score a bucket right here. She's the kind of player who lives for that. Dixon fouled as Bransford reached in to try to get the tie up. And those are the rebounds that you have to get if you're the Irish. And credit Louisville, they continue to just come at you on the offensive glass. And you know they're, they're not going to back down. They have seven more offensive rebounds than the Irish. Liz Dixon, her family making the trip from Memphis on this senior day. And you anticipate the pressure coming right now from Louisville. Dixon got them both. The Irish have done a good job of handling it up until this point. This is eerily familiar, a four point ball game, just under a minute up in South Bend. Cross for the freshman. Inside a minute to go, and most of the people in this building are on their feet. This has a tournament atmosphere to it. It sure does. Of course, Louisville always has terrific crowds. And they had to open up the upper deck, and not only did they open up, but there's a lot of people in they the sure upper deck are. today. The last time these two teams played, it was 10 days ago in South Bend. And it went into overtime. And first off, that tough Olivia Cochran bucket to tie the game. And here comes Olivia. Boom. Might have walked. But still hit that off-balance shot to win the ball game. Hey, that was a heck of a ball game. I mean, it was a four-point ball game in Notre Dame's favor with 15 seconds left. Miss free throw, a couple of quick buckets by Louisville. And look at this second half shooting. No Olivia Miles on the floor to be a facilitator. And what happens for the Irish? They just shoot 60% from the floor and have done an outstanding job making life difficult for the Cardinals on the offensive end. Louisville has missed 10 of its last 11 shots. But now they are thinking defense. Bransford, pounded by Robinson. Citron, bumped. And they continue to call the game a lot closer than they did in the first half. Three on Cochran now. Both teams in the bonus. Dixon coming back in for the freshman, Harris. Citron delivering at the free throw line. Building on her 
season high in scoring. Louisville takes a timeout. Citron's 27 points, two off her career high. And when they needed her most with Miles out hurt, she came through. She sure did. She's had to be a primary ball handler. She's done just that, running this offense, knocking down big shot after big shot from the three-point line in the first half, getting to the rim and to the line in the second half. I mean, she has been outstanding for the Irish. This is a team that, again, has been through so much adversity and continues to step up for the challenge. Sonia Citron fan in the crowd. You see the two stars. Haley Van Lint was the last Cardinal to hit a shot, and that was six minutes ago. Well, Louisville's so good after timeouts. Jeff Walls drawing up plays to get really good high percentage looks. Robinson drive scores. I love the action because everybody thinks Haley Van Lith is going to get the ball. So she makes the Iverson cut over the top. Everyone goes with her. Mikasa Robinson has an easy lane to the rim. Yeah, Robinson usually not heavily guarded for her scoring ability. Certainly is a great playmaker, but that another example of, yep, Jeff Walls drawing up a play that worked as we get the reset. Notre Dame with the ball and a three-point lead. About a five-second difference between the Fox, Pam Ward, along with Stephanie White. We expected something like this, and we're getting it. We sure are. I mean, this is exactly what it's all about. Time and score situations. It's eerily familiar from what happened 10 days ago up in South Bend, but both teams executing at a high, high level. So what do you expect here? Louisville maybe go for the steal? Yeah, I think Louisville's going to go for the steal. You know, the most important thing for Notre Dame is to get the ball inbounds. You don't have any timeouts. You've got to secure it. Right, and if you're the Cardinals, and if you can't get a quick trap and a steal, I, you know, Jeff Walls has a timeout. He could play it down. You have to get the rebound, though, and be able to call it to get the advance. So depends on how much he trusts his team in that moment. Bransford throwing it in. Citron, Mikasa Robinson was able to almost force a turnover. What a play by Citron. I mean, to be able to come up yeah. with it and find the open player? Yeah, how did she do that? Citron calling for the ball, and finally is fouled on the perimeter by Russell with 13 seconds left on the shot clock. I mean, this is just an incredible play by Citron. And Mikasa Robinson all over getting a hand on it. Two players diving after her, head up. Kylie Watson again, a heads up play to get it back out and to use the clock. Delivered that pass from her knees. Two huge misses for Citron, who had been 10 of 12 from the line. The opportunity to make it a two possession game, and now Louisville. But I'll be interested to see what the call is here because Haley Van Lith dribbled the ball. So did Jeff Walls get the timeout before the dribble? Are they going to be able to advance the basketball? Now, if so, no timeouts, no fouls to give. For those of you tuning in to see Indiana and Iowa, that game is starting over on ESPN News. Meanwhile, we're going to show you the end of this thrilling game. Notre Dame with the win will be the ACC champions. Louisville with the ball down three. Well, again, so good in these after timeout situations if you're Jeff Walls. You don't have a timeout left. You, there still is time to get a quick score, a foul. But then you've got to talk about two possessions offensively if you're going to do that. Otherwise, you look to get a three-point shot, most likely for Haley Van Lith. But don't sleep on Marissa Russell, because she has been big. Russell with 12 points. Notre Dame, they hang on, are the ACC champions. Then you get in the situation, too. If you're in the LIV, do you, do you try to foul? And if you do it, you've got to be disciplined. And when you do it, on the dribble only. 
Yeah. There's always some people who like that strategy, not giving them a chance to hit a three. Citron is on Van Lip. CC Carr in the ball game, a terrific three-point shooter. Yep. But small inbounder, Very so Prosper small. being big. Right away to, Ro to Robinson, who's so smart with the ball. Trying to get it to Van Lip. Puts up the three. Missed everything. Rebound for Prosper. The Sons Prosper, the freshman. Talk about you know, Miel Avi saying a little bit more from every player. When you lose a player like Dara Mabry, now you lose Miles in this game. And Prosper among those who have given her some great minutes. Yeah, and Prosper is one of those players that she said is not afraid of the moment. A confident young player, not afraid of the moment. She was in this situation in, at Notre Dame as well at the free throw line. She stepped up and she's been big. All of her buckets coming in the second half. Ruby Miles with the one-legged hop to celebrate. Notre Dame was down nine at the half. They had lost the services of their best player in Olivia Miles. CC Carr with the bucket, but it's too little, too late. Niel Ivey and the Notre Dame Fighting Irish are the 2023 regular.